smells like exhaust and pomade. I guess it's because it's a rockabilly convention. Viva Las Vegas and Sin City. Woo woo! You're watching Lisa T. Draw to the rockabilly culture for you. Oh, it's the clothes. It's very flattering for every woman. It's a way to be individual. I think my version of rockabilly is just anything that's flattering for a woman's figure. High-waisted pants, things that show off your ass and your boobs. Smallest part of your waist. I like how you're doing like the guy version as a woman. It's really good. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, feminine and masculine. You don't see too much of that at the rockabilly place. It's like all the women are trying to be really, really, really ultra femme. What do you call your style? Well, I'm a teddy boy and I'm the most true f***ing rockabilly motherfucker you're going to find in the United States because everybody else is a bunch of posers compared to me. You have to live the lifestyle before you even become part of us. What do you have to do to live it? Understand the music behind it. Understand the culture behind it. Understand the cars and what we run. We learned the rockabilly style through maybe the internet. You get all your stuff in Hong Kong? Some of them from Japan. Is it popular to dress this style in Japan? Yeah, whole world you guys, yeah. Do the brown, the style. OC style. Out of Tokyo? Yeah, Tokyo. Where'd you get your shirt? Uh, I ordered it from Japan, actually. The attention to detail when they're you know, doing reproductions, the designs are exactly the same. It's an international situation. For those of you who don't know who this lovely lady is, this is Tempest Storm, original burlesque. How long have you been in the business? I started in 1951. Where would you get your costumes? Bob Mackey. And first time when I heard about him, I called him. I said, how much do you charge for a gown? And they says, 3500 I said, is that without the beads? And they said, yes. <laughs> what are the best looks that you've seen so far? I'm really envious of Hispanic guys because they've got such lovely black glossy hair. Mine's, mine's just kind of dry and gray now. How do you guys get your hair like that? Keep your pomade in before you shower, that way it's thick. And when you get out of the shower, you just throw some more in that shit. People always say put water in it. Don't put water in it, man. Put pull it dry it, and then put the pomade underneath it. There's no special term for it if it's shaved on the side? No. Does it stay up all day? It does. It'll probably be here tomorrow, too. You gotta shake a leg when you do it. That's what I'll tell you. You gotta ready to rock and roll when you put it on. There's gotta be a term. Can we make one up? Power pump? A power pump? <laughs> Your hair is insane. Insane. Any pointers for somebody who's like learning how to be a rockabilly? Don't be scared. What did you do to get ready? Oh, I went on the internet and they had a bunch of advertisements for where you can get dresses and uh, ordered it through there. You don't? You normally don't dress rockabilly? No, this is my first time. Oh, you did a great job. Oh, suck it to me now. Ah!